Hi everyone, if you want to be an expert in trading the financial markets or to be a professional in this line of work, join our professional certificate in financial technical analysis. This certificate course is a three months course. You learn 13 proven modules to enhance your trading strategies. At the same time, we prepare you for the prestigious diploma in financial technical analysis exams from the UK as well as the certified exams from the US. You will be learning what you will learn from this applicable to stocks, commodities, FDs, Forex, cryptocurrencies, crude palm oil, index futures, and learn how to make profit from up and down markets. Here are the five reasons why you take this course. Number one, deeper understanding of technical analysis and other indicators. Number two, obtain a diploma in financial technical analysis from world-renowned organizations. Number three. A very good afternoon. How are you all getting on? Hope you all are healthy and safe. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome and thank you for joining our F1 Academy Facebook Live Education Series. A chart pattern a day keeps your losses away. This is series number three. Today we are going to share with you on fresh and balanced patterns. I'm Professor Mark Chai, the moderator. And with me today is our presenter, Mr. Abnam Fadaus. Sorry that our Sifu, Mr. Fred Tam, is unable to join us today due to some unforeseen urgent matters. Please say hi to Mr. Abnan and give him a like. Good to see you all again. You may post your comments and also questions on the chat box. Before the end of this session, Abnan will try his best to answer your question, which must be related to the topics of the session today. Today, we are going to give you more time for Q&A. This Facebook Live education series on chart patterns are sponsored and managed by the founder and CEO of F1 Academy of Technical Analysis, Mr. Fred Tam. If you want to know more about chart patterns, you may refer to the following book on chart patterns authored by Fred Tam and his associates. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you our presenter today, Mr. Afnan Fadaus. He is our senior technical analyst and also a very active young stock trader. Besides his bachelor degree in business management honors from Seki University, his technical analysis qualification includes MSTA from STA UK, CFTE from IFTA USA, PCFTA and also PTFTA from Malaysia. Mr. Afnan got his technical analysis education and training skill from F1 Academy, and now mentored by Mr. Fred Tam as our senior technical analyst and also as an assistant lecturer. Lately, Mr. Abnan is also invited speakers to many of the technical analysis uh, topics, such as the one in, organized by the Kananga. And also coming this weekend, he is also the one of the speaker together with Mr. Uh, Sifu Fred Tam as speaker of the coming event on market outlook for the second half of 2021. Now, before further ado, now I would like to invite uh, Abnan to join us for this Facebook live session. Uh, Mr. Abnan, please say hi to our, our audience here. Hi everyone, Hello. how are you? Hello, Mr. Yeah. Abnan. Yeah. 
Today, we are going to continue discussing two more continuation patterns called flats and penance. Could you explain what are these patterns and why you want to discuss them together? Uh, yes, sure, Prof. So, uh, but before that, we'll look at, uh, again, what is chart pattern, what are the categories, all right? So over here, we have the, the, this diagram of chart pattern analysis. So we have reversal and continuation patterns. So flex and penance, they are under the continuation patterns over here, as you can see. So why are they called continuation patterns? Because when they break out or break down, they are likely to continue their previous trend. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, a more detail. What are flex and penance? So over here, a flag or pennant, it can be bullish or even bearish. Continuation pattern, depending on where they are seen on the chart, all right? So uh, flags and pennants, they are quite common and even their appearance is uh, very similar. And both of them also, they represent a brief pause in a dynamic market, okay? A brief pause, uh, catching a breath before they continue to run, run off again in the same direction. So for flex and penance, their criteria, one of the criteria is uh, they have to appear after a sharp movement, whether it's upward or downward. All right, uh, why is it called flag or penance? Uh, our students also, they sometimes get mixed up with this too because both of this, they are small patterns, continuation patterns, and look very similar. So let me illustrate a diagram for you here. A flag is called a flag because it looks like this. You can see a price, uh, price rally up here, all right? So this is uh, the price rallying. After that, it consolidates inside. Uh, so if okay, you were to draw see, a trend line. Let's see your illustration. My illustration? Uh, it's not seen. Okay, let me switch to uh, another annotation. Okay. So over here, you can see price rallying. This is the okay. flag pull. And after that, after the rally, price starts to consolidate. Let me change another color. Okay, let's try blue. All right. So when you see this, if you were to draw trend lines uh, on for this consolidation, you will have two parallel lines. And it looks like a flag. So this one, if they are parallel, they are, uh, it is a flag. But for pendant, this is what we call a pennant. It's like, a, it's like a flag, but then the flag has a sharp point here, an apex. So similarly, it starts off with a sharp movement, okay, followed by a consolidation. Let me change color for this. Followed by a consolidation. And if you were to draw trend lines on it, it will form a small symmetrical triangle. So this is a pennant. In terms of appearance, this is uh, the differences. <clears throat> All right, then bullish flag. So this is the ideal diagram on how a bullish flag should look like. There's a flagpole, a sharp rally, if it's bullish, and a followed by a consolidation. And if you were to draw trend lines on it, like I said earlier, you'll have two parallel lines. So this is the resistance and here is the support. If it breaks out, it tends to uh, continue its previous trend. And what is its previous trend? Over here, the flagpole and uptrend, a rally. So we can assume that price is going to continue rallying. So based on chart pattern analysis for flag, how do you project the target? You can take the height, vertical height of the flagpole, all right, let's call it X, and then you project it on the breakout point. Of course, in trading, we always uh, must have a stop loss plan based on flag. You can put it at the previous low over here, all right? So buy on breakout here, set your stop loss over here. In terms of volume, this is how it should look like ideally. During the rally, high volume. During the consolidation period, lower volume. Upon breakout, high volume. So this is a bullish flag, just like this. Now, 
bearish flag is the opposite. Just now was in a rally. This one is during a fall. So there's a sharp movement downward. This is also the flagpole. But when it consolidates, it consolidates slightly upward, all right, against uh, the previous trend. But uh, just like uh, flag, as I mentioned, when it consolidates and you draw the trend lines, you will have two parallel lines over here. So since this is a bearish flag, we can assume that uh, it is likely to break down over here. So when it does break down, if you have positions, you can sell on breakdown to avoid from getting more losses. Can we estimate how far, how low it can go further? Uh, we can using the flagpole here. The vertical height, just measure. Take this height, project it onto the breakdown point. Okay. In markets where you can short, you can sell here, put your stop loss above the previous high. So this is the bearish flag. It's like a flag over here, but upside down. Next, we have... Mr. Uh, Abnam, before you yes. go to the penance, you know, you go yes. back to the flag, you know, now you look at it because it's a continuation pattern. You expect the trend will continue in the direction, either the downtrend or uptrend, as you have shown just now. This is a possibility that, you know, just like this, a bearish flag, you expect it to doubt, would it be a possibility that they will also revert? Uh, like, yes. Uh, upwards. Yes, in the market, that can happen even if you see uh, a, rever a bullish reversal pattern like double bottom. You can see a breakout, but then later it continues to go back down. This can happen in the market. So that's why if you are trading, not only you have to know analysis to predict, but you have to know how to react. Mm -hmm. In trading, learn how to react. Mm -hmm. yeah, all right, good question, okay. Prof. Okay. Thank you. Okay. After flag, we have pennant. Similarly, first, there's a sharp rally, a sharp movement, which we call it a flag pull also. And then it consolidates. But this time, when you draw your trend lines, you can see them converging into a small symmetrical triangle. All right? So the uh, how you view this is the same, similar to the bullish flag. If it breaks out, you can assume that it is likely to rally upward. So what about price, uh, you know, target projection? From the flagpole here, take the vertical height, we call it X, project it onto the breakout point. Stop loss can be below the previous low. In terms of volume, they're all very similar. At first, it's, uh, it's high. When it's consolidating, it's low volume. Upon breakout, again, high volume. So pendant, this is the bullish pendant, this is how it looks like. For bearish pendant, the opposite is moving downward. So a sharp fall, and then it consolidates into a small symmetrical triangle. If you draw trend lines, you will have two converging lines to create an apex point. So if you see this in a downtrend, you can assume that price is likely to break down and continue to go down. How low can it go? One of the ways is you can use the vertical height over here and then project it onto the breakdown point. If it breaks down, if you have positions inside, you can sell before price goes down even lower, cut loss early. In markets where you can short, you can sell here and put your stop loss above the high here, all right? So this is like uh, the pennant uh, picture just now, but it's upside down. So some people, they ask, okay, since pennant is a, it's a short rally followed by a symmetrical, a small symmetrical triangle, what are the differences? How can we differentiate them, all right? So the differences is, you look at this, pennant. Okay. Uh, before, before you go to that, <laughs> yes. Talking about the uh, symmetrical already. Okay. So so now the the pattern, I think the same thing like the flat earlier. So we know that there's a continuation trend. Just as you mentioned, the probability is that sometimes they can reverse. You know, in the opposite direction also, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh. Yeah. That yeah. can happen. Yeah. Uh. But then again, usually, 
if you see a bearish pendant in a downtrend, it is likely to continue going down. Okay, okay. That means the volume or something will we also put an indication for that? Uh, yes, volume volume is a good uh, indication to add more confirmation or assurance whether uh, the bearish pendant will really go down or not after the breakdown. But sometimes, uh, you know, the patterns all this work even without the volume being so clear. So that's why we have to be flexible in trading. Okay, if we see you. anything uh, wrong, we just yeah. uh, react. So thank you, uh, Abraham, for the very clear explanation of what is uh, fresh and also what is a uh, uh, pendant and also bullish and the bearish one. I'm I'm sure you all have an uh, understanding of this. Uh, I think you will get better understanding later on when Abna will share us some of the real stock example of how to trade them, then you will get a better understanding. Now, Abna, remember last session, you discussed about symmetrical triangle. Now, I look at this, uh, what they call either bearish or the bullish pendant. They look quite similar, you know, when you compare this, the, yeah. the uh, pendants and the symmetrical triangle, the pattern look quite similar. How can you differentiate them for, for newbies or they are not as uh, expert in the chart, as a chartist? Okay. Uh, yes, thank you, Prof, for that question. So as I mentioned just now, the differences. One thing is pendant, you have a short rally over here. And when you draw a trend line, it's around here. So even if you were to extend the trend line over here, you can still have a flag pull here. Right, but for symmetrical triangle, you can see okay, sometimes there's a sharp rally, but then if you draw a trend lines, you can see that if I were to extend the trend line here up until here, I won't see any flagpole. All right, so this is one thing, but on the real chart, let's see uh, how it looks like because there is not a difference in terms of the duration. This is a pennant. Can you see uh, my laser pointer, Prof? Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Okay. So this is a pattern. You can see it's small. Pendants are short-term continuation patterns. Triangles, whether it's symmetrical, descending, or a standing triangle, they are more to the intermediate continuation pattern. Uh, in terms of duration, it's longer. Usually more than a month, maybe up to three months. There are some cases where it can even be longer than that. But pendants, they are short-term usually two to three weeks, okay? If you see a symmet symmetrical triangle, but then it's less than a month, it's uh, probably actually a pennant. So if you see on the real chart, you can see the difference very clearly. Look at the size. Pennant is very small, but triangle is much, much bigger. Take a look at this. It starts around here. We can say um, mid of March, and then it goes to April, May, around June, it's uh, almost around two to three months. This is a triangle, but pennant. This is March, this is April. The pattern completed within a month. So that's the most obvious difference that we can see, the mm -hmm. duration, the size. And then for triangles, uh, the breakout point is usually two third or three quarter away from the apex, as you can see. By pendant, uh, we don't have such rule for it. Okay, now for the real examples of pendants and flags. The first one, we have Pekka. So Pekka, you can see here, there's a bullish flag here. If you see this, you can buy on breakout because this chart pattern is telling us that, okay, price was consolidating. Now it's breaking out. It has broken out which means it is continuing its bullish trend. Another one, pennant. You can see a bullish pennant here. See how it's converging? It's a small symmetrical triangle. So if it breaks out here, you can buy. So if you see this, remember, this chart pattern is telling us that price is continuing its bullish trend. So with these two patterns, it is a bonus if you can confirm it with volume. For example, if you can see it over here, during these two candles when it's consolidating, this uh, red and green bar, that is the consolidation period. But upon breakout over here, look at this long 
volume. Okay, high volume. Uh, sorry, it's over here. So the, the two volume behind is when it's consolidating. The high volume here is upon breakout. So this is a, a double extra confirmation to, uh, to know whether this breakout is strong or not. Similarly to this bullish pendant, upon breakout, high volume. Okay, so these are just simple diagrams. So it's only one bullish flag and one bullish pendant. Let's take a look at another one. There's a bullish flag here. You can buy and break out over here. And bullish pendant over here, buy and break out over here. If you were to follow chart pattern analysis, stop loss will be below the previous low. And look at this, how volume is quite dry during the consolidation period. Upon breakout, it is higher. Same goes with this, look. Not to say that the volume has to be like this 100% all the time. Sometimes the volume is not clear, but the pattern, the price movement is still there, okay? So just now it was a Pekka, now it's SNC. Both are simple diagrams. You can only see one bullish flag and one bullish pendant. But because bullish uh, you know, pennants and flags, they are quite common, they appear quite frequently. Meaning in the same chart, you can see multiple of them. Let's take a look. Over here, we have CIMB. What can you see here? If I were to uh, draw out the red lines here, you can see there's a bullish, sorry, bearish flag here. Why is it called bearish flag? Look at the previous movement, it's a short fall. So if I see a consolidation here, which is sloping upward, okay, it is a bearish flag. So when it breaks down, we can assume price is continuing to go down. Another bearish flag, as you can see over here. And then it breaks down and goes lower. After that, over here. From this point where it falls, you can see a bearish pendant, indicating that price is likely to continue to go down. Another one, bearish flag. Over here, we have a bullish flag. Do you see this? Sharp rally, just a short one, and then it consolidates with uh, you know two parallel trend lines. It breaks out and then it continues its trend. Over here, there's a short pause. This time, it's a pennant. So you can see upon breakout, it continues to go up, although slightly. It is still a bullish pennant. So if you were to trade this kind of patterns, imagine, okay, let's talk about uh, in terms of Malaysian stock market context where we cannot short. We can only make money one way when the price is going up. So if you have positions to, in CIMB, let's say before this bearish flag was formed, that means if you see a breakout, sorry, a breakdown here, you can reduce position or sell or stay out. If you see more bearish flags, it's a, it's a more indication for you to stay out, sell, cut loss and so on. Same goes over here, bearish pendant and bearish flag. You see, if you don't know uh, what flags and pendants are, psychologically, if you see price falling, suddenly it, go, suddenly it goes up, then you might be thinking, okay, price is reversing. But if you know that uh, this is a bearish flag, you will know to stay out, all right? If you have money inside this, you will feel that way, that you, you buy here, you see price going up, you see your portfolio green, you have hope. And then when it breaks down, it falls down faster, and your unrealized gain is turned into unrealized loss. Until you sell it, it becomes realized loss. Same goes with pendant and flex. Beware uh, for the bearish ones, beware of the uh, consolidation period. Newbies tend to get fooled uh, by this because they think price is reversing where in fact, uh, it's actually a bearish flag and pendant being formed. But for bullish flag and pendant, this one, keep an eye out because these are opportunities for you to buy. If you see this, it's a rally, you miss it, and then you see price is rallying. 
uh, those who don't know chart pattern, they might think, okay, price is not strong. It's going down. Just now was a false breakout. But the next day, they see a breakout over here. Then they will know, oh, this is a bullish flag. I can actually buy. Same goes with the bullish panel over here. It consolidates, think, making us think that um, price is no longer strong. It is weak, going sideways. But when it breaks out, it's actually a sign that it is still strong. So these are the advantages if you know chart pattern analysis. The next one we have Mr. is the same thing. Yes. Before I go to the next one, can you go back to the CMP? All right. So I believe that, as you said earlier, the, uh, these are penance, you know, as, as a short period of consolidation. So I believe this is very good for the intraday trade. So I see the, uh, the appearance here, you know, very congested. So I believe this is a daily chart, isn't it? You go yes. to a, a shorter time frame with a, with a chart bet that the chart pattern will be appearing better for you to draw your thread or your pattern. Uh, you know, yes, see, you, know, you yeah. are expert, you can draw it, you know, hmm. very small. Yes. So this is a daily chart actually. So if you want to do intraday trading, you will need another chart, uh, intraday chart, like mm. five minutes or 15 minutes. Mm. Um, 15 minutes has less noise compared to five minutes. So I would go with 15 minutes. Uh, but also even though you are, you are intraday trading, you still need to look at the overall picture from mm. the uh, daily chart. Mm. For example, one way you can do it is, if you see price is already uptrending, let's say maybe over here, okay? And then you stand by with your daily chart and 15 minutes chart. What you wanna do here is, uh, the general rule is, look for a breakout on the daily chart. For example, you can see a bullish pendant. Since you are intraday trading, you don't have to wait until price closes. You see a breakout, price goes above uh, the breakout level. Then you dive in into the 15 minutes chart. Those who are used with intraday uh, charts, I'm sure you'll notice there are many points where price rarely consolidates, rarely and consolidates. When it's consolidating, you can actually draw this kind of patterns. Uh, flags, pennants, sometimes also triangles, ascending triangle, symmetrical triangle, but of course in, uh, in a 15 minutes chart, which means that triangle is not showing you a constellation of two months, three months, is in the context of a 15 minutes chart. But still, the triangles that appear in the 15 minutes chart, it can work, all right? You will have more candles inside the triangle, so uh, that means it can take up, up to um, one hour, two hours to form. Mm -hmm. So if you see a breakout on the daily chart and the 15 minutes chart, chart like that, you can do intraday trading. You, you buy on the breakout. Okay, Prof. Okay, thank you, uh, Amran. I think uh, for the audience, I would like to make it clear or disclaimer. Whatever example we show to you and some of the stock we quoted here are mainly meant for education purposes and also for explanation. Uh, nothing here in is for advising you and also solicitation to buy or sell stock, okay? Okay, Amran, continue. Okay. So after CMB, we have a good thing, another example. So let's take a look at this. Over here, we have a bearish pendant. You see this? It's a sharp fall and it consolidates. Those who know Japanese candlestick, you will know that this is actually one white soldier. And then you will think that, oh, okay, price is reversing. You buy here and then you see price going up slowly, you have hope, you see your portfolio green. But then what happens after that is price breaks down. It is a bearish pendant. Traders get trapped a lot in this if they don't know chart pattern. Again, over here, you can see, okay, it's a long candle here. They can see, consider that this is a hammer, this is a spinning top, which represents market indecision. Their price may reverse. They take their risk, they buy. They see price goes up. One long candle, nice. Another green candle, also nice. Next day, price also goes higher. So they have this hope that price to reverse, they see a portfolio green. What happens after that? Price breaks down and that's a bearish flag. So these are the kind of uh, things you have to avoid, all these bearish patterns. 
if uh, it's best if you don't have positions inside when this pattern is being formed. If you do, cut loss. Over here we have bullish flag. Why is it called bullish? Look at the previous movement. It's a rally. Okay, a sharp one. A sharp rally doesn't have to be from a single candle. It can be from multiple candles, such as this one. That we have uh, four or five candles here. But if you add them all together, it'll become one flag pole. Same goes with here. You can see sharp rally, and then it consolidates, sloping downward. So you, so you might think, okay, price is weakening. But then when it breaks out, you know what is a bullish flag, you enter. It consolidates again, and then breaks out. A bullish flag. Over here. And then over here, it's a bullish pennant. <clears throat> Again here, bullish pennant. Now, um, you don't have to keep, uh, you know, buying, re-entering whenever there's a breakout. It all depends on your trading plan. Personally, for me, I don't really trade these patterns. It's because my entry is usually earlier than these patterns, uh, which is mostly based on TAD, if you know, it's uh, Mr. Fred's trading system. But what or how I use this pattern is, if I already have position inside a stock, which I think is bullish, and then I see a bullish flag, a bullish pattern breakout, I will use it as an indication for me to, uh, to continue holding it because the chart patterns are telling me price is still steady. It still has some way to go, so I can hold. Uh, but that's my way to trade, lah, all right? Everyone has their own trading style. <laughs> okay, and then the next one we have here, Serba dynamic. You can see after this gap down, we can consider it as a you know a sharp fall, a flagpole, over here. People they they like to it's normal as a human being, they like to buy things uh, stocks at a cheap price, discounted price. So when the price gaps down, limits down, they try to you know what they call it scoop, bottom fishing, try to catch the bottom. So if they enter here and then they see this, price is going up slightly slightly higher, although it's a red candle. They might think that the price is going to reverse soon. But what happens after that? Price breaks down and it's actually a bearish flag. So this is an indication that price is going to continue to go down. Let's see. Over here, high volume. And then also a green candle over here. Some may buy, they think this is the market bottom. They take the risk. And then they see price consolidating. When it breaks down, it is another bearish, uh, bearish pattern. A bearish pennant. Okay? So for bullish flags and bullish pennant, look out for them. They are opportunities for you to buy. Uh, and then for bearish flag and bearish pennant, watch out for them. Avoid buying inside those patterns. They are bearish pattern. They are going to continue to go down. Hence, that's why they are called bearish continuation pattern. Okay, uh, those these are all the examples that I have. The next one here is just uh, something extra. We actually have a new Facebook page. Uh, please like, follow, and share our new Facebook page. It's the F1 Academy of Technical Analysis. You'll see this, the details. And then you'll see it's under the uh, category of Educational Research Center. Don't worry, we will still post as usual on the current Facebook page, uh, Fred Thumb. Uh, this is just something extra. We'll have uh, new updates and new things inside. Okay. Okay, thank you, uh, 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 Afnan, uh, for a very interesting uh, sharing of the uh, stock using the uh, Fred and Pennant. As we, as we all notify us that it is a very short period of consolidation. Uh, you need experience and a very sharp eyes uh, and to look at it and, and practice. So you have to be cautious in trading by using the uh, Fred and uh, uh, balance. So before uh, Q&A times, I think uh, for, uh, the, for the benefit of the audience, you know, for, you, for those of you who would like to know more about the chart pattern analysis and also uh, to utilize them for making money. I think I would like to present to you before the Q&A about uh, 
uh, uh, program which we can offer to you. Uh, Abram, you would like to show the next one first. We are having a professional certificate in financial technical analysis called PC FTA. This is a very uh, special course and prepare you to be a professional uh, trader. And you, we are giving you 13 powerful uh, modules. Of course, the chart better analysis is one of the key topics uh, for covering here by uh, our CFO, uh, Fred Tam. And the next intake will be starting to uh, July 17. So it's, it's uh, another two more weeks to go. Uh, please take note of this. And this particular PC FTA also prepare you for international standard in uh, technical analysis uh, called the Society of Technical Analysis, uh, Techni Techni Technical Analysts at uh, UK. Uh, this is a gold standard for this. So we have a track record of preparing students to score 100% uh, passes. So for those of you who are interested, uh, please uh, uh, contact uh, our hotline, uh, Miss Cherry and also uh, uh, Mary. Can you, uh, I'm gonna show the next slide. Uh, you can contact them uh, to call them up for this. So uh, we have uh, quite a bit of time for you to post a question. Uh, to post a question, I'm sure some of you have already posed some question. Abna, do you see any question that you you can immediately can look into it? Yeah, let me see. Uh, um, meanwhile, you can also start posing a question. Yes, I see a few. Okay. This one from Nizamuddin uh, Dawood. How to find the good entry for bullish flag, sir? Okay. How to find a good entry for bullish flag? Let me choose one of the charts just now, for example. If it's entry, that means you're talking about bullish flag. All right. If you're talking about chart pattern analysis, uh, you know, uh, purely for bullish flag, because it's a short, term pattern is small pattern we only enter after it breaks out okay we don't enter in between this is uh, more to momentum trading we only enter when there is momentum when there is a breakout so for bullish flag while it's being formed you can stand by already actually the moment it breaks out you can just enter another question let's see What is your suggestion if price if price reached the short point or the converge point, the apex by Afik Nazir? Let me go back to the chart, uh, symmetrical, symmetrical triangle chart. Okay, symmetrical triangle uh, is an intermediate chart pattern. Okay, it's bigger. So if you're to follow this rule, we actually just like the bullish uh, pennant, we only buy on the breakout. In technical analysis, timing is crucial. We only enter at the right time. If you think a triangle is being formed, you want to enter at number two here, four or six, it is up to you. But trading rule, we only enter upon the breakout. Okay? Another question. Let's see. Euro reversal. I'll have to look at the chart to, to answer that. The time frame while well, using this method, Afnan. Okay, time frame. Technically, it can work on different time frames as well, but it's uh, overall the best to start with the daily chart. If you want to combine it with the, even if you want to combine it with intraday chart, like 50 minutes, it's best to also refer to the daily chart first because you need to get the overall picture. Okay, uh, that's a question by Cahaya Menang Resources. Another question by Aiz Ahmad. Mr. Afnan, when will V Solar will go north? Okay, up. No pattern identified. V Solar, um, I haven't looked into the chart for that. I have to look at it. But sometimes there, uh, it's not necessarily that there has to be a pattern for you to know the direction. It can be based on trend lines, higher highs, higher lows, Japanese candlestick. Okay, all things in technical analysis, you learn, you apply. 
So that's why it's best if we know more than just chart patterns. We have to be complete. That's why you, you need the course. <laughs> you need the course. You learn <laughs> trend line, yeah. support resistance. Very important. Okay. Combine everything. Uh, okay, guys. Sorry, but I cannot check uh, the real life charts now. Only anything related to the topics here. Tesco, symmetrical pattern. I'm not sure I have to take a look. <clears throat> Mr. DIY in a bullish flag. Uh, I also have to take a look. By WH Ng, if breakout, but the volume is lower than yesterday, is it a good entry on breakout? Okay. Um, ideally, volume should be higher when it breaks out. All right. But in reality, this can happen where price breaks out and rallies, although volume is not high. So it is up to you whether you want to enter or not. But if you don't like whip sauce, you like confirmation, you like accuracy, it's better to have a breakout with high volume. So uh, if you see a breakout but no volume, but then price still rallies, just let the opportunity slide, okay? Don't have this mindset where you keep changing your method where you miss this chance to enter because uh, you thought volume is low, it's no good, okay? So what happens is, next time you see a breakout, you see, okay, breakout, price breakout, but then volume is low. But last time I remember, price still went up, you enter. What happens after that? Price doesn't go up, it goes down, or it continues to go sideways. And then you switch back to your old mentality. Okay, this time, every breakout must have high volume. And then when, uh, when you keep doing this, you keep changing your strategies, your performance is not consistent. Your accuracy, your training strategy, it's not consistent. So in the end, what happened? Your losses and your gains are all ups and downs out of place. Overall, you might be making a loss. Okay? Keep your strategies consistent. I've told many students also uh, that uh, they actually asked me, this, this breakout, this breakout, why do I let it slide? Uh, why not enter? Uh, so my answer is, me, I follow rules. Very simple. If it goes up, uh, although there's no volume upon breakout, I prefer to the, let it slide. In Malaysia, uh, stock market exchange, there are other stocks, right? I can just go look for other stocks, which I'm more comfortable with. Let's see, another question. By Vinav Sakaran, what is your method of hold a stock once you enter a, a trade? Okay. Uh, to tell you the you know the the full long answer, I cannot do it here. It will take too long. And then you also need to understand a lot of things. But in simple words, I can say that okay, one thing I buy and hold, but more to swing, swing trade. I sell them hold for many months, unlike last time. So as a trader, when I when I enter, it's because there's a breakout. I'm more to buy on breakout. And then also Stop loss. I have to know where my stop loss is. And then for targeting, I use whatever technique I can, whether it's chart pattern or Fibonacci. I will use that as a reference to take my profit. So while price uh, is still not hitting my stop loss or my target, how do I hold it? Okay, in uh, T, if you learn our, if you join our course, we have this TAD system, you will learn what is turtle. If price triggers turtle, uh, you know, bear signal, even before price goes to my stop loss or my target, I'm likely to sell it. Because to me, okay, the stock is, uh, the momentum is not really there. I will not take a risk to turn my unrealized gain into realized loss later. Because if price, let me illustrate for you so that it's clearer. <laughs> Okay, over here. If I were to enter here, my stop loss is here. And then my target is over here. Okay, up here. If price is here, it goes up. Along the way, there's a turtle sell signal. So to me, that's an indication that price is weakening. Okay, over here. I would rather sell it rather than waiting for it to 
just to confirm it's weakening until it hits my stop loss. Better if I take some profit over here rather than taking a loss over here. Okay? A QEC is very important in trading. So I don't like whipsaw. I, I like, I'm comfortable with high accuracy. I like to ensure profit. So using turtle is one of the ways. Other ways I can also use trend lines. Uh, which one I will use, it also depends on the chart itself. I have to take into account a lot of factors. Let me see if there are any other questions over here. If you guys still have questions, you can post them in the comment. Any more questions, Alan? Let's see. Uh, not really questions, just comment. Hi, Afnan. Yeah. Wait, Abdul Gafur Muhammad. Hi, Abdul. Ang, Adan, and good one, Afnan. Trading plan is the bedrock of for any trader. Yes. Trading plan is very important. No matter how good you are in technical analysis, there will be times where you are wrong. So when you are wrong, you have to know how to react, which is cut your loss. Okay? There's no system that gives you 100% accuracy. High accuracy, yes. 100%, no. All right, I don't see any more questions. Do you see any, Prof? No, I, I, I guess I, I don't uh, get as, as, as to see it. But anyway, Afnan, yes. uh, you, have, you, have you have discussed about, uh, about this, and I, I believe that chart pattern is uh, very important, you know, as a tool. For, for trader. So now in your experience, you know, in addition to the top patterns that you are, we are discussing also in this education series, uh, normally what other maybe indicators or trend line or some supporting uh, tool that you think is best, you know, match with this uh, top pattern analysis? Uh, okay. Um, if we talk about bullish uh, patterns like symmetrical triangle, ascending triangle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can accompany it with, um, usually I go with turtle. Mm -hmm. Turtle is the easiest. It's based on price action. If it's if not turtle, I can also use um, other, other indicators like, um, for example, here, if I see a double bottom. Okay, double bottom. Those who know what is MACD, not McDonald's, uh, moving average convergence divergence, okay? Or maybe RSI. Mm. If you know what is divergence, then you will know that, okay, there's a double bottom, mm. price is around similar level, but indicate the indicator, okay? MACD or maybe even RSI or maybe uh, one more, on balance volume. Um, OBV. If you see divergence from any of this, while well, there's this kind of uh, move uh, bottom, it's also an extra indication for you uh, to know that, okay, it is likely to happen. This chart pattern is likely to reverse. Um, other than this, of course, the most basic, you can use volume. Okay, there are many methods. Mm. But just now from your illustration, you already uh, combined with the uh, candlestick. So see candlestick. me, you know, candlestick, you know, the, with that, you know, with the pattern so on, like just how you mentioned about using candlestick, there's a breakout candlestick to show some strong signal, uh, reversal or entry point, you know. Uh, so candlestick um, will be, will be uh, uh, Actually, candlestick, uh, candlestick pattern, not so much mm. actually, Prof. Mm. Although we are viewing the charts in a candlestick mode, mm. okay, is uh, to me personally, I seldom combine it with chart pattern because mm. most candlestick patterns I use is for reversal, mm. okay, and it only shows the turning, turning points. Mm. If I were to combine it with a continuation pattern like flex and pendant, it is quite difficult. Mm -hmm. Okay, those who know Japanese candlestick, let me just show you one, uh, one tiny bit on this. Uh, the rising three methods. Okay, you have a green candle here, and then red candle, red candle, red candle. Mm -hmm. On the fifth day, you see this. 
This is a rising three method, a continuation pattern in Japanese candlestick. Do you know that this is also equivalent to a flag? Mm. Like this, you can. Mm. Okay? But other than that, I cannot uh, think much of a way to combine it with um, Japanese candlestick. Mm. Okay, thank you, Abnan. Uh, what I'm trying to tell you people is that, you know, there are various methods, whether you use it for confirmation, or uh, some of them to supporting, you know, uh, maybe other type of uh, Western or Eastern techniques can be used. So any, any more questions you can identify, uh, Abnan? Um, we have a few more minutes. A few more <laughs> minutes. Okay. Um, other than the methods uh, I shared just now, yeah, I can't think of any because even in, in reality, I don't use uh, a lot of indicators. And in trading, you will learn also that you shouldn't use too many indicators, too many oscillators because it will give you, um, you know, confusion. Maybe the signals can be redundant. Okay, all, all this is uh, in trading, just keep it simple. Okay, Prof, uh, I think we're almost at, uh, almost time's up already. Okay, I think uh, maybe if the privilege came to me, I, I, I pose you a uh, last uh, simple question, right? Okay. So now, as we all are uh, experiencing a very soft market uh, now, 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 I believe that, you know, we have uh, our tax system and so on. We still can pick up the winning stock, isn't it? So do you think that at this time, you know, still time for us to invest in the stock market? If you're a technical trader and you're experienced, uh, yes. If you don't feel comfortable, then just stay out. With the TAD, yes, uh, it can help to filter out to filter out bullish stocks for you. But to get the optimum results, you have to know uh, how to use TAD and then f filter it further mm. to see which one's the the best choice for you to take. For example, there can be ten TAD bullish stocks, but maybe only five or three of them are good. How to know this? You have to learn technical analysis. Look at a lot of factors. Look at chart patterns, look at volume, all this. Okay, uh, Abdan, thank you very much. I, the reason I asked this question is that, uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, Mr. Abnan also together with our CFO Fred Tan, will be participating in a, in a session on this, this coming Saturday. Uh, through the uh, share investor uh, platform, and they will be talking about the tax system and also looking into the market outlook for the second half of 2021. And then uh, our seafood Fred uh, Tam and also Abnam will share uh, with the audience about how we can make use of technical analysis and also our tax system for you to pick up winning stock, even in the very soft market like what we're having now. I think for those who are interested, Maybe they can also uh, uh, join in this uh, coming session this Saturday. So Abnan, this will be open to public also, isn't it? Uh, yes, it's open to public. You guys can join as mm. long as you have the link. The mm. link is in, you can see it in our uh, Telegram Fred Tom channel. You can register mm. and we'll see you there. Okay. So finally, come to the conclusion. Afran, thank you very much for sharing with us and also to the audience for your patience and participating with us. So we all, we hope that you all enjoy our live session and also have a good understanding on the Fred and the Bannons uh, patterns today. We should have more Facebook live talks of other chart patterns. Please look out for more of Facebook live session. So thank you again for all. Stay safe and stay healthy. See you all very soon. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. See you. Bye -bye. Hi everybody, my name is Fred Tam and I am the founder and the CEO of uh, F1 Technical Analysis. Do you know how to pick the correct stocks? 
If you don't, then why not let me and my team do the analysis for you? I do that night after night. I look at every chart, every chart every night, and I know which stock is moving and which stock is not. And those stocks that are moving, I will choose and pick it up and put it into my newsletter. I'll send it over to you. So if you want to know which stocks can go up tomorrow, when to take a profit when you're right, when to cut loss when you're wrong, if you like to subscribe to my newsletter, then click the link below. Let us ride this bull together. In 2015, uh, I wrote a book called Chart Pattern Analysis. And this book is about how a super trader was able to use 11,000 to make 42 million in just 23 months trading stocks. And his name is Dan Zenga. If you want to know how he did it, please look for this book. This is in the popular bookstore up to today. Already four years, it is the best seller. I'm also an author of the Power of Japanese Candlestick book. Now, I'm very proud of this book because number one, it is endorsed by my good friend, Steve Nissan. Steve Nissan is actually the grandfather of Japanese candlesticks in the whole world. He's the one who introduced Japanese candlesticks to the world. Every day when you look at the screen, the, and the charts, you are looking at Japanese candlesticks. But do you know how it functions? Do you know what are the uses of Japanese candlesticks? Do you know how to construct Japanese candlesticks? And interpret Japanese candlesticks? If you don't, this is the perfect book for you. By myself and endorsed by Grand Daddy of Japanese Candlesticks, Mr. Steve Nissan.